Hey guys, it's D uh, for Leo, for the sign of Leo for the month of August of 2018. I apologize for being so late. Um, please bear with me through the month of August. I try not to work as much as I usually do, um, but I do apologize that it's late, but I hope the messages are good. I will be offering again this month a free reading for anybody that subscribes to the channel and as well comments below. Okay, so if you want a chance to win the free reading this month, you can make sure you subscribe, number one, and two, make sure that you comment below, else I will not be able to um, choose your comment when I choose a drawing. I will be choosing the drawing on, um, I don't know, uh, the late of August, so I'm thinking about August, let's do August 29th. And I am not in my usual reading spot, so I am outside, so forgive any noise that comes along with this. But let's get to the message. Um, Leo, Leo, Leo. First of all, happy birthday. We are in Leo season, so you guys might be feeling a little bit um, of the energy that's happening. And for me, I'm a fellow Leo myself. Uh, my birthday is in July, though, but I feel it's all about boundaries. Okay, and you start out with the Ace of Cups, so I feel like this is a new beginning for you, okay? It, but it could also be a restart, all right? And you've got the Six of Pentacles right next to it, and this is, you know, and forgive me, I'm going to read these cards the way that I feel it and how I see it. They might not resonate as a new deck for me, but um, might not resonate to the um, original tarot cards the way they are, so don't question, just go with it. Um, I feel like it's time to walk your path, okay? Time to do what you want to do. And in getting here with the next card of the Knight of Swords is that nobody's going to do it for you. You've got to take action. You've got to take those steps in order to move forward to what you want. And with the Seven of Cups right next to that, you can take what you want. You can have what you want. You can see she's on this dragon here and he's picking up all these cups. Whatever you want, it's capable. You're capable of having it. It's just you can't sit back and let others um, take you away from it, first of all. And you can't sit back thinking that everything's just going to come to you. You've got to take the action to move forward, to get yourself to where you want to be. Okay? It's not just going to um, happen. And when you see yourself, like I like this card a lot, the Six of Pentacles in this deck. And you can see she's kind of just walking, or, you know, walking through and she's, you know, picking the berries and it's very blissful. To me, this is peace. This is the peacefulness. So if you've been wanting that peace in your life and the happiness and kind of this, just the not worrying about stuff and just, just literally inner peace. It's for you. This is the time. This is Incoming Leo. call. This is Leo season. Okay? You've got the Ace of Cups here. I'm trying to turn the speaker off. Hold on one sec. Alright, well don't mind that. Um, it's Leo season. So this is time. It's time for you to take the steps to get what you want. Now... You know, that may be what's you, what you're recognizing. Call rejected. That may be what you're recognizing in the beginning of the month of, of August. And since we're almost kind of in the middle, maybe you've Powering off. already had this. Sorry for that, guys. Um, however, you've got the Four of Wands. And to me in this deck, when I look at this card, this could be a relationship. This could be a friendship. Some kind of partnership. I see you guys talking here. But the card right next to it is the Ten of Wands. So you move from the four to the ten. So something or someone might be distracting you from your end goal, from being that peaceful, from being that blissfulness, right? Somebody, when I see these two cards together, ten of wands is leaving something behind. It's the end of a cycle, okay? It's carrying a burden and it's leaving that behind. And I feel like because you have the Four of Wands here where <clears throat> this looks to me like it's like a relationship and they're talking about stuff, it's time to leave that behind. So if you follow me on Facebook, I just did a video about boundaries um, and, you know, talk about if there's somebody in your life that is distracting you from really where you want to be, 
you've got to set those boundaries. What are those boundaries for you? Okay, and then you've, you've got the King of Wands next and you've got the Eight of Pentacles. And that's what I feel like this is doing. The King of Wands knows what needs to be done in order to be successful. All right, and then the Eight of Pentacles is working on it. So figure out what those boundaries are for you and set them, okay? Think about 10 boundaries for yourself and three, put three on the top. And what will you not negotiate, right? So for example, my I just found, I just thought of a boundary yesterday where it's, I will not let people um, manipulate me. I will not let people manipulate me. So if I find somebody and I feel as though they're saying stuff to me and they're making me doubt myself and all this, I will let them go because that is a boundary that I'm not willing to negotiate with. You know, if you follow me, I've dealt with narcissism in my past and I'm not willing to go back there. So that's the boundary. But it's me that has to set that boundary. Again, the Knight of Swords here. It's you taking that action. You, it's not being harsh. It's taking care of yourself and loving yourself, okay? And you've got to work on it. It's, you can't, it's not like you're just going to set a boundary. It's going to be easy as pie. No, you're going to have to work on this. You're going to have to take the time. You're going to have to, you know, tell your brain every time that you're used to doing something to switch it and say, no, this is not healthy for me. That's the work that I'm saying that is going to have to be done. You are going to have to leave somebody behind because I do believe that they're pushing that boundary. Okay. They're pushing your boundaries. They're making you uncomfortable. They're making you further away from this goal of, of being happy and blissful, okay? So you are going to have to leave something behind in the month of August in order to move forward. You also have the Two of Cups here, okay? And you can see this is kind of like a partnership. They look very cozy in the water together. But you've got the Nine of Wands right next to it. So this is, again, feeling defensive, protecting yourself. And then right next to that you've got the eight of cups so i feel like right now you guys are learning this lesson in the middle of the month here about yeah i do have to leave something behind but you're stuck in your old ways and you're not doing it you're not doing it you're thinking it but you're not making any progress towards the end of the month i see this happening i do see that two of cups just like the four of wands type of energy there okay and then the Nine of Wands feeling defensive, and then the Eight of Cups right next to that, leaving it behind. So guys, there is something that you're going to have to leave behind, and it might not be easy to do, and it might be, you know, it might sting because you do have the King of Swords. And to me, the King of Swords is, you know, I see that sword and I see it planted in the ground. And it's like, I, I'm getting right now, like, I will not take, no, I will not take no prisoners, whatever that saying is. You know, like, I will do what I need to do to get by, to be happy, okay? I don't mean to hurt anybody, but I come first. And for you Leos, for right now, I feel as though that is the energy that is here with this eclipse. I feel like it is shoving it in your face that it, this is you. This is all about you. And for this spread, I felt to take three more cards from the bottom of the deck. And when I got this, it's the Five of Pentacles. And in this deck, you can see... Like the mother, it looks like the mother is nurturing the baby. This is you guys. This is the universe nurturing you. This is the universe sending these messages to you for a reason. So that you can shine like the stars in the sky. You're Leos. This is what you do. You shine. Okay? So, but you can't shine when other people are walking all over you because you have not enforced your boundaries. And then you've got the four of cups here. And it's like finally taking the time and like when I see these two cards, the store, the star and the four of cups together, I see it as like final it's self love. I feel like finally you're going to, you're going to take your power back. You're going to embrace and be grateful. I'm getting as well, like grateful for the little things, grateful for, you know, the, um, Oh, I just got another thing here. They're grateful for these. Um... Oh my goodness, I can't think of them. Um... The flower on this card, I cannot think of the name of it. I just saw a bunch of them. I have it on my car. I can't even, I'm, I'm losing my words. I'll come back to that. Um... Oh, all right, you're going to have to give me a minute. I can't think of the words. 
Um, but to be grateful for the little things, all right? To be grateful, look for the positivity of things. And I was also getting a lot today, and I might do a video on Facebook about this, is that the universe doesn't want you to suffer, okay? Stop asking yourself, is this the universe that's providing this? It does not matter. If it does not feel good, it is not the universe, okay? So I think a lot of people play on that, and I'm gonna do a video about that, I think, on Facebook at some point this week, but don't stay somewhere or deal with something because you think the universe has provided this person or this situation for you, okay? Because it's not true. And then the other card here you've got is you are limitless. You are limitless. How beautiful is that card for you guys? Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. You are limitless. Limitless. You can have this energy. You can be that peaceful. You can shine like the star. You can. But it's up to you. It's up to you to make it happen. A couple other cards over here you have is the ask card. So this is about asking your angels, asking your spirit guides for help. It says, ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. All right, so ask, ask your spirit guides, ask your angels. Sorry about the dog. Um, and the assertiveness card. This situation can be healed. This situation can be healed gently and with love and you, as you've requested, yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. This has... Hold on, I'm going to pause you guys for a minute. Okay, obviously I'm probably going to have to do my rest of my videos inside. But assertiveness. So this comes with those boundaries, guys. You have to speak what you want. You have to tell people what those boundaries are. Okay? You also got the energy work card. And you've got the creative project. Now again, it's a general reading. So if it doesn't resonate, again, check your moon and rising signs. But some of you might be thinking about doing Reiki. I have that new channel, Dee's Divine Healing, um, on YouTube for specific Reiki only. And, you know, some of you might have some kind of energy work, uh, Reiki, um, um, you know, spiritual stuff going on, and also creating a project. So, some of, however that resonates with you guys, that might be going on as well. Um, <clears throat> that might also be where you have to draw your boundaries. So, just remember, it's August, guys. Think about where you were a, a year ago and look at where you are right now. What is similar? What is different? What is similar that needs to be different? All right. Thank you so much for watching the video. Again, make sure that you subscribe and comment on the video below in order to uh, enter to win the free drawing, the free reading. Um, I'll, I'll probably pull it by, let's say, the 27th of the month. Okay. Much love to all of you. Happy birthdays again. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.